Our team coverage continues with a group of San Diegans who organized a vigil to show their support for the victims of Charlottesville. 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo is live in El Cajon. Laura organizers picked that particular spot for a reason. Yeah, and organizers decided to have the vigil right here in the parking lot where Alfred Olongo was killed last year. Now they said they chose this spot specifically to remember how people came together last year. We will not stand for this. We will not stand for uh, KKK, for Nazis to, to overrun us. Members of the left peacefully protesting were murdered today by by white supremacists. Yesenia Padilla watched the images from Charlottesville, Virginia in shock. We're aware of what's going on there and we won't have it. So it's important to build that group uh, solidarity. Seeing the video from the white supremacist rally moved her so much she got together with the industrial workers of the world for a vigil in El Cajon to honor the victims killed. And it's chilling. It's terrifying. And when I saw that video, I felt I felt deeply impacted by it and I knew we had to do something. A few dozen people showed up to the parking lot where Alfred Olongo was killed by police last year. Yesenia and a few others spoke to the crowd. We stand firmly with as an organization here in San Diego. The speakers called for unity. They say they will not accept what happened today. Freedom of speech is one thing, but I think violence and hate speech, which are not protected are a very different thing. Padilla remains positive. She thinks tonight's vigil sends a strong message. It gives me a lot of hope. It makes me feel it makes me feel galvanized. It makes me feel like together we can make a difference. There was some concern that there would be counter protesters showing up to this vigil, but nobody showed up and it remained peaceful. Reporting live in El Cajon, Laura Acevedo, 10 News. Thank you, Laura.